Hi, this is Dark Fox 127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be starting a brand new series for MCM systems. Now, for those of you that don't know, an MCM stands for Mod Configuration Menu, and it's pretty much just a small control panel within the game's main menu system, which is a lot more simplistic and a lot more better implemented than the game's own sort of basic menu system and it's just control panel as i say which allows you to control various things within a mod so mainly it's just to change some values and it's to turn features on and off and in some cases to even get a mod started now you'll see a lot of the more popular mods the biggest mods out there like iHUD or Frostfall, they use an MCM system and it generally requires sky ui but there are ways of getting around that which i'm not going to be covering in this video but yeah, basically it's a nice control panel for each mod that you download that supports it rather than going through the old fashioned menu style system, which is really quite annoying. So in this video, all I'm going to be doing is covering the steps that you need to do to get started with an MCM system uh, rather than getting too in depth with it all. And then the videos after this will be really looking into writing a basic MCM system and build up and up and up from there. Now, I am by no means an absolute expert on MCM systems. However, I have made a number of fairly successful uh, mod configuration menus for my own mods like Corinthia Tower, Riverside Shack, Mershkum Estate, which I worked on with Eleonora. Those have got their own MCM systems and they seem to work really well and they go into the mod quite nicely. So, like I said, today we're just going to focus on the installation, if you like. There's just a few basic things that we need to do before we are ready to use the creation kit to script our own mcms now if you are not familiar with Skyrim scripting then i strongly recommend that you go and check out my scripting tutorial series before this uh, they're slightly old videos but they do get the point across they get the general information across so i strongly recommend that you get into scripting a little bit before you watch this video but for those of you that are generally familiar with scripting and you want to learn how to do mcm then please continue on watching Okay, so the first thing that you want to go ahead and do is head to this website here, GitHub. Bit of a funny name for a website, but there you go. And I'll leave a link in the description for this specific page. And as you can see, it is MCM Quick Start. Now, this is where I've learned pretty much everything that I know about MCM. I've read it all through, but a lot of people don't like reading all that much. And they'll find that videos such as this are a much, much simpler, easier way to learn. And you'll pick things up quicker. So that's what my tutorial series is for. Now, all we're going to need from this website at the moment is this link. But what this will have, like I say, is a load of references for scripts and such really great examples of other MCM systems. And you can get an idea of how it works. But for now, all we're really going to want is this here. So the SkyUI SDK files. Click on that. Get the latest version, 5.1. Click on that. Should send you to a Google Drive. Hit the download button. And that should go ahead and download. So here I am in my download section and I'm just going to use 7-zip to extract that. And then you should have examples and scripts. Now you can go ahead and check out the examples. Gives you a good idea of what an MCM looks like. But I'm just going to go ahead to the scripts. And I've got the PEX files here and the source. I'm going to go ahead, copy those. Go to my data folder, which I hope you know where your data folder is. If you're looking to do MCM systems. And go into scripts and just paste them in there. Now, as you can see, I've already got them, so I'll just be replacing them, which I'll go ahead and do. Same scripts, and if you type in SKI, you've got SKI scripts there. And if you go in the source, you'll have the same in there. So that's how you get those placed in there. The other thing that you're going to need is the Sky UI mod. Now, even if you don't want to use Sky UI, you don't want the new menu system, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to be doing a separate video which will cover how to use the Sky UI system to let the MCM system work without actually having to have Sky UI. So that'll be a future video anyway, if you don't want to use Sky UI. And the other thing that you are obviously going to need is SKSE. And you'll see on screen now that the last video I did is going to show you how to install SKSE if you don't know how to do that. So all that's really left to do is go ahead and install Sky UI from the Skyrim Nexus. So I'll have a link in the description, although it's really not that hard to find. And as you can see here, here's your description. The installation is dead, dead simple. You can install it manually, details are there. But the best way of doing it is to install it with a mod manager of your choice. So go into the file section, hit download with manager, which I'm not going to go ahead and do, but it will download and you'll just install it. In my case, I use mod organizer. You might be using Nexus mod manager, Wirebash, anything else. 
and you just install it as usual make sure it's right there activated and ready to go and it's really really simple so now we are ready to go in the creation kit and start scripting our very own mcm systems and just before i end this video i am just going to show you an example of one of my mcm systems that i am doing for my latest mod Corinthia tower reborn which at the time of this video isn't out yet but it's in a beta stage so let's hop in game and take a quick look at that Okay, so here I am in game and as you can see we've got a new option in the menu system for mod configuration and if you click on that you've got MCM Skyrim version 4 and you've got a list of different mods that have their MCM systems. Now usually when you load up the game and a new mod has been installed in the MCM system it might take up to a minute for it to just sort of uh, get initialized and you'll see little message boxes at the top left for when that happens. Now as you can see we've got a lot of popular mods in here, we've got things like convenient horses, immersive hood, and you click on these they've got their own menu systems which is really awesome for toggling things on and off and i'm just going to go into my own mod here grand Tower reborn so i've got my own fancy little image there going to features i can turn different features on and off i've got little sort of tool tips at the bottom to explain what certain things do turn other nice features on and off have my own custom messages going to settings animations turn them off i've even got drop down menus for certain things so if i want a random image every time that i load up the mcm so it changes to something different i can do that that's one of my own features which is something i might show you how to do in a much later mcm tutorial and tower design i can change things like the banners at the moment it's dulled out this is another good example of what you can do you can dull things out until certain conditions are met and these are things that eventually over time i'm going to do little tutorials on how to do so like i said next video we'll sort of just cover the basics and such so that's a nice example of what mcm is capable of and it makes things so much more user friendly so much easier to make changes in your mod and it just fits into the game a hell of a lot better so that is it for this tutorial video. I hope you found it useful or at least it spurs you on to go ahead and watch the rest of the videos. I know this is a bit more just informative and showing you what the MCM is and how it works. But yeah, all good. So please go ahead and check out my website. It's on screen now, www.docfox127.co.uk if you want to find out more about my work. And all the links that you need are in the description below. So you can also go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts, what you think. And you can also check me out on social media. Facebook's where I post most of my stuff. And you can, of course, go ahead and follow me on my Steam group, which, again, links in the description. And that will make sure you don't miss any of my live streams if you're into that kind of thing. Because I do do a fair bit of live streaming of mod creation, which also includes things like the MCM. So that is it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you next time.